Would you love to play Phasmophobia with a body cam? Then this is the perfect video for you. I'm gonna show you how the game feels like playing with a body cam and in the end I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this here yourself. I also showed this to the developers of Phasmophobia and they actually loved it so it's completely safe to use. But without further ado, let's hop into some maps and see what this looks like. Now first of all, you should probably deactivate it in the menus because it is pretty hard to navigate. Can I select Tanglewood? Yes, 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 I can. There we go. If you're getting motion sick with the fisheye effect, you can actually reduce it quite a bit if you want to. But let's go in and see what this looks like inside of Tanglewood. Actually, if you are having uh, your flashlight out and it's dark, you don't see too much of it. So I'm going to turn on the light to see what it actually looks like. Let's turn on the light and just have a look-see here. Oh boy, this actually looks awesome. Look at it. <laughs> it looks amazing. I feel like I'm actually having a body cam here. That is really cool. All right, I'm going to try to trigger hunt just to see what it looks like getting hunted with this body cam here. Do you like body cams? All right, it doesn't like it. Is it actually a revenant? Oh, that's actually not good. Oh my goodness. It's actually also cool though. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't get killed here. <laughs> Look at it. Actually pretty cool to, to hide uh, with this body cam around the kitchen counter. I like it. That is awesome. <laughs> hey there, sir. Bye, sir. You're already done. That's awesome. All right, let's quickly check out one of the farmhouses. We are here on Blease Day right now. And it already looks pretty nice, right? Let's turn on some lights so we are actually having some visibility here. Oh, this looks pretty cool with this cam. Look at it. So I'm going to show you more footage of some other maps. And then I'm going to show you how I actually did this. So let's see how you can achieve this body cam style for Phasmophobia. Here you can see all the video settings that you can copy for yourself. Make sure to turn off film grain and chromatic aberration. Also my FOV slider is at 90, that's the highest you can go. Now to get the fisheye effect you need a program that's called Reshade. I'm gonna leave a link to Reshade in the description down below. I heard some people had problems with the most recent version of Reshade, so if you have those problems, try an earlier version like 4.9.1. If you can't find that version, I uploaded it to my Discord, link is in the description down below. I also uploaded my preset for this in my Discord if you don't want to do it manually. Now I am using a bodycam mod as a base that you can find on Nexus mod, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. Once you have installed this mod, you go to your game folder, you go into Reshade shaders, into shaders and you're gonna find the fisheye horizontal fx open this up with a text editor like notepad plus plus and then you're gonna change the minimum and maximum fisheye distortion values change it to minus 0.9 for minimum and 0.9 for maximum and you do the same thing for fisheye distortion cubic minus 0.9 for minimum and 0.9 for maximum this will give you more flexibility with the fisheye distortion effect. If you don't want to change this yourself, I'm going to drop this file in my Discord as well. Once you have done that, you can change the fisheye distortion to your liking, however you want it to be. 
I have put the fisheye distortion to the max, which is 0.9. Make sure that you also use the fisheye zoom because you will get bogged edges all around. Just zoom in till they disappear. There we go. Now I did add some other shaders because I wanted to make it look a bit more old school. If you can't find these shaders, just try to install everything if you are installing reshade. If you do that, you will get a large selection of shaders to use. So I did add a filmic sharpen to give it a sharper look. I did also use fake HDR over here. Then I also used monocular cues to have a bit more of a contrast. I also added a smart sharp and I added a blue tint. I also added some lens flare effects with Unreal Lens. And in the end I also added some vignette to darken the edges. By the way, if you don't like this overlay text in the edges, you can also get rid of that. It's just a PNG file you need to edit. And there you go, this is how you get the body cam style in Phasmophobia. Let me know in the comments if you like this body cam style. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Mwah. Big schmouts. Mm -hmm.